Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, usually this would be the lunch on me. However, I still have this little guy just waiting for a nice home. All you have to do is subscribe to this channel, like this video, and comment down below. You can comment once, twice, three times. I'll choose one winner in the comments. Take that bad boy home. Let's get in the video. Before we get started, this can either make or break my mood. Bang, baby. Things guys say that mean nothing. Easy listening, easy vibes tonight. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another episode of Troy Talks A Lot, Drink Chauncey, The Cow. Merch coming soon. Smash that like button if you're excited for the merch. Smash it two times if you're not excited for it. Gotcha. I feel like I haven't checked in in a quick second, so how are you? Mentally? Physically? Spiritually? Sexually? If not, that's okay. You know, maybe three out of four, two out of four, one out of four, at least you're not zero. And if you are zero, Chauncey says, pour up another glass of wine, make it a double. Anyways, let's get right into it, shall we? Things guys say or do that mean nothing. We all know what it means when a girl likes a guy's Instagram story. Okay, we get it. That's you shooting your shot. If, if we don't take that as a hint or if we don't automatically jump on the opportunity, the God-given opportunity of you guys shooting your shot by liking our Instagram story, then we're just big dumb idiots. However, if you are to flip the script, that doesn't necessarily mean the same thing with guys. If you see that they like your Instagram story, they just liked your Instagram story. That doesn't mean that he likes you. That doesn't mean that he wants to sleep with you. That does not mean that he wants to get married. That just means that he liked your Instagram story. It means absolutely nothing, okay? It doesn't mean anything. We're not thinking from a girl's perspective right now. We're thinking just straight from a male's. Guys are very simple. They double tap your story and they're on to the next girl with big hooters and a lounge underwear set. <laughs> Liking an Instagram story means nothing. On to the next one. Um, speaking of Instagram stories, when a guy decides that he's going to respond to your Instagram story and tell you that you are, uh, you know, just the words of wisdom, who says chivalry is dead when a guy responds saying, you're hot? Oh my gosh, if I was a girl, I would fall in love at a, there it is, at a snap of a finger. My panties would have hit the floor when I see you are hot. Ooh, man, if that doesn't do it for you ladies, I don't know what does. It really takes a true man with true character to just type out Y-O-U apostrophe R-E. Or if they're trendy, maybe just hit a U and an R. And then we can go hot, H-O-T, or H-A-W-T. Give me a little Paris Hilton on the vibes. You know what I mean? But yeah, if he says you're hot, that doesn't mean anything either. It doesn't really take very much to say. I don't really call girls hot. Usually when I like respond to an Instagram story, saying something, saying even the word hot, it's usually like an action that they did if they chef something up and they took pictures of food i'd be like hot i always do h-a-w-t by the way i never do h-o-t um if you received a dm from me saying hot you know what i mean if he just says hot or you're hot it means nothing maybe if he actually comments on like the curvature of the door frame or the type of porcelain that is in your sink or even the Bermuda Triangle mahogany door handles that were imported from France, then maybe, just maybe, he's putting in a little bit more effort to talk to you or strike up a conversation. But if he's just saying you're hot, well, I hope that he knows that he's probably in a pool of other guys doing the same exact thing. Good job, Daniel. You're really getting her good. Next. Oh, this is a good one. This is a very good one. Texting you, but without a plan. He's just texting you. If he's just texting you, he's probably just feeling it out. Seeing if he can just get a quick hangout, possible bang in for close to nothing. I'm thinking to myself like, hmm, do I actually text people and it means nothing? Yeah, because if I want to see somebody, because if I like somebody, I want to see them. And I'll try to make a plan with them. However... If I'm just looking for something a little bit easier, a little bit more casual, I'll probably play the field a little bit. 
just to see like what the vibe is, what they're doing for the night. Like guys try to feel out the playing field, see what their vibe is, see what yours is. Maybe try to get a quick cheap hangout, not actually have to make like a full blown plan and pay however much to do this or put in so much effort or take so much time or put a whole bunch of effort or take so much time. It's just more like, Hey, like, what are you doing tonight? Oh, nothing. You want to come over kind of deal. Yeah. So if he's just texting you casually, it doesn't mean anything unless he's like really trying to set concrete plans. Don't look into it too much, sweetheart. Unless he's trying to make an actual plan with you, which means he really likes you because again, his actions speak louder than words. It doesn't mean too much this. Don't read into it. This one's a little bit more of a piggyback on the Instagram story. If he likes your picture or any post you have, you know, if you have like a reel or like a TikTok, it doesn't mean very much. Okay, it doesn't mean that he's in love with you and wants to take you home and have sweet, sweet, sweet love. And then you birth three of his beautiful babies and you guys live happy ever after. It doesn't. So let's stop romanticizing. Oh, he took 0.3 seconds out of his day to double tap my screen and boom, instantly a love connection. No, it doesn't mean that. It doesn't mean that at all. I wish I could say it did. But again, just a quick double tap. It doesn't mean shit, especially if it's like a thirst trap. That must mean you have like thousands and thousands of people that are in love with you. If you thought of like every like as a guy wanting to marry you, you would have like a trillion boyfriends. Which, hey, I mean, if that's what you want, that actually seems pretty good for you. But I don't think you could keep up with a thousand boyfriends, to be honest, or a trillion or... I don't think you could keep up with a trillion boyfriends, to be honest. I don't think you'd want to either. I really don't think you'd want to. This is what life would be like waking up to a thousand boyfriends. And nobody wants that. The camera. So yes, let's save your time and not marry a trillion boyfriends. To be totally honest, I don't understand when people go through their likes to see who liked their shit. Maybe that's just because I don't care enough to. I don't look at who likes my shit. I think you could fill your time a little bit better than micro-analyzing who liked and who didn't like your post. If he likes your Instagram reel of you promoting your Amazon storefront, it simply does not mean very much. I'm sure you've seen that kid going viral on TikTok for making that video about, oh, well, obviously he liked your Instagram story for a reason. I, bro, to be totally honest, I don't know how to like an Instagram story. Like, I'm assuming you just double tap a story, but don't you just scroll through stories? Like, what the fuck is the point of liking the story if you already saw it? Ready for this one? This one takes a lot of effort, so ladies, buckle up. When he sends you a fire emoji? Whoa. I know exactly what you're thinking. Calm the fuck down. Okay, yes, he might have an engagement ring right now and ready to propose. He might. Let's also make sure that he double tapped your photo. Because if he double tapped and sent a fire emoji, you're in love. Do you see how stupid that sounds? A flame emoji. I think sending a fire emoji is just so much more douchey than actually just like liking the photo. It's actually more douchey than saying hot. The only time I send a flame emoji is if like the dinner looks fire. I'd be like, whoa. But even then I would take like, I would have some sort of decency and like type out, like spell out fire, F-I-R-E, apostrophe, apostrophe, apostrophe. I wouldn't just send like fire. To me, I'm just like, why the hell did you even respond with that in the first place? Like that takes no effort. Like if you actually liked what I was doing, maybe you put a little bit more effort into being like, whoa, that's awesome. Because now you're maybe reciprocating the same effort that I went through to make this beautiful balsamic vinaigrette with a peanut butter reduction of arugula salad. Maybe a little pecans, little cranberries on top. If you're feeling a little chicken, maybe a little lemon chicken on the side and kind of spice it up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, flame emojis, those mean nothing. It doesn't mean anything. I saved the best for last. This is a classic. This is really a classic. Um, we call this like the LA lunch. When a guy's like, oh, I want to see you. 
The only appropriate response to that statement, awesome, when would you like to? I want to see you without a plan means absolutely nothing. That is just a toss up in the air being like, oh yeah, I want to see you to kind of keep you around. So if a guy ever says, I want to see you and doesn't come up with a time or a day, the only appropriate response from you is, great, when do you want to? That is the only response that should ever come out of your mouth. When? Pick a day. If you want to see me so much, little Timmy, make the fucking plan. Capiche? Capiche. I think a lot of girls love to overcomplicate things guys say or do that just mean nothing. So let's stop looking into the whole, you're hot, or you're fire, or I want to see you with the no plan. Okay, because you're not falling in love, sweetheart. He is not trying to put a glass slipper on your foot and whisk you off your feet in a pumpkin carriage off to Narnia. He is literally just doing what everybody does mindlessly, just scrolling through social media and just... See that? That was like four or five Instagram chicks that just liked their stories. Are you understanding how silly that sounds now? I hope. I'm not making fun of you. It's just tough love. I just want you to understand. Anyway, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to get into some stories before you guys start getting mad at me. Oh, okay. All right, here we go. This one's from Kendall. She goes, question. Hey, Troy, my name is Kendall, and I'm a big fan. Thanks, Kendall. I have a scenario I would like your help on. So I talked to this guy sophomore year of college, and we were previously good friends. We started talking and flirting and then had a conversation about getting more serious, but both agreed we wanted to take it slow because neither of us had been in a relationship before. After having talked for a while and hanging out several times, I thought we were good to start dating, especially after the boy said that he was all in for me and only wanted to be with me and could see a future with me. But then he ghosted me on my birthday. This is just so perfect. This is, that's, that's not perfect, but, but the situation is perfect because again, what did I say about five, 10 minutes ago? But a lot of men's words mean absolutely nothing. It's their actions that really tell you a lot about them. Also should add, I rearranged birthday plans so he could be there just for him not to show up and make me look stupid on my birthday. What do you think happened? P.S. He still flirts with me anytime we have to interact, which is only when mutual friends invite us both to hang out. Kendall. Kendall. Kendall, if you're watching right now, what do you think you should do? He ghosted you on your birthday after you rearranged plans in order to include him. He still flirts with you, but only at friendly events. I think you already know the answer to that question. I think you just needed to hear somebody else say it out loud, so therefore you understand what you should be doing. You're a smart girl. You're in college. I don't think you need me for this one, but I love you. Kendall, Kendall. Ooh, I really like this one. This one says, help me, lol. Hi, Troy. How are you doing? This is perfect. I'm from Brazil, and I've been living in the U.S. for five months, and in my country, it's pretty normal guys come to talk to you and ask for your number, and I've never had to do the opposite. So I, I love, okay, I'm trying my best. It's broken English, but it's so cute. So I'm going to the gym and has a guy that I'm interested in. We flirt, smile at each other, and sometimes, most of the times, I'll always saw him looking at me. <laughs> what do you think about it? let a note in his car window with my number so what do you think about putting a note on his car with your number on it that's funny um yes i know which car it is to be honest i don't know if i should go talk to him i think will be better because he will know that i'm confident enough to ask his number but i'm a little bit shy or just let a note in his car what the f help me um first of all indiara i love you P.S. I told to my host mom and friends about these two options and they liked both, but they said that this is very interesting and personal to leave a note for a guy, but I don't know. I have doubts about it. Thanks for the help. Love your videos. Thanks for messaging me. This one's fun. I was going to say something in Portuguese, but the only thing that I know how to say is not a good, because whenever I watch Brazil play soccer with my 
Brazilian friend, he always says, Fia la puta, fia la puta. If you know what that means, I don't mean it towards you. I like the idea of going up to him better than putting a number on his car. Just in case, just in case, he doesn't text you for whatever reason. That means you shot your shot. And now it's a little weird if you go back to the gym and keep on seeing him, as opposed to you going up and saying, hi. If he says hi and starts a conversation and asks for your number, then you know that he's interested. If he doesn't ask for your number, then maybe he's not interested or maybe he has a girlfriend or maybe he's seeing somebody or whatever it may be. Then it's not so awkward because you two just had a quick conversation. You just go up to him and you just say hi and then let him say hi. And then he starts a conversation. I think that's where it should go. I like that better. Anyways, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you slammed your wine by now. Kendall, if you're watching this, please don't hang out with that guy anymore. I know he told you everything you wanted to hear, but like I said earlier, actions speak louder than words. You already know this. He stood you up on your birthday. Like, you have to be pretty low to do that. And, and I don't like that, especially after you went out of your way to make him a part of it because obviously I know that you care but if he cared he would do the same thing and he clearly didn't do the same thing I love you guys so much please like comment subscribe we are on a mission to 10,000 subs once we hit that goal one of you guys are coming out with me on a hot date in Los Angeles so let's get into it like comment down below I'm responding to all the comments if you guys have any questions you want me to touch on please email the link in the description down below and smash that subscribe button send this off to your friends let's just get to 10k and get you guys on a hot fucking day okay I love you I'll see you next episode with that being said, Troy Talks a Lot is out. Peace. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, usually this would be the lunch on me. However, I still have this little guy just waiting for a nice home. All you have to do is subscribe to this channel, like this video, and comment down below. You can comment once, twice, three times. And I'll choose one winner in the comments to take that bad boy home. Let's get in the video. 